Hi there, my name is Matti Sulanto, I'm a photographer and a Lumix ambassador based in Helsinki, Finland. In this video, I have one great Lightroom tip for you guys. I usually don't do a lot of post-processing to my images. I think I'm a little bit conservative and maybe a you know, old-fashioned. At least when I look at other people's work, I think they are doing much more to their images than I'm doing. But maybe I'm just imagining that, I don't know. But today I'll have a nice Lightroom tip for you guys. But before I move on, let me remind you that you can also subscribe to my channel and tap the bell icon down there so you'll get a notification every time I post a new video and that happens on Tuesdays and on Fridays. But now let's get to the point. I have Lightroom open here, I have a few sample pictures here, but let me first explain you um, my default preset that I apply to all my Micro Four Thirds images, whether they were uh, shot on the LX100 or G9 or any Micro Four Thirds camera. I have a preset that sets the clarity to plus 10 by default. And then some sharpening to every image. I have my sharpening settings here. Uh, the sharpening is 35, radius 0 0.5, and uh, detail 90, and masking 10. Of course, if I shot on very high ISO, then I will use different sharpening settings, but I have a different uh, or another video of that where I'm talking about the noise and noise reduction and all that. There's a link there or a card up there so you can have a look at that if you are interested. But these are the settings that I apply to all my images by default and then I fine-tune them if I used uh, a very high ISO. But now the actual tip that I was talking about. The tool I'm using here is the gradient and uh, usually we use the gradient to make the sky darker like so. Something like this. Maybe a little bit overdone but uh, something like this. But this time uh, I'm not using it um, for the sky, I'm using it for the foreground of the image. And as you can see here, there is some ice still over the sea when I shot this, and the, the foreground is pretty flat looking. But let me apply um, a, a gradient there. I could darken the foreground, but it doesn't look that nice. I could apply some more contrast. It's a little bit better, but still not very, very good. Let me reset those. But if I apply some clarity there, see, becomes very interesting. All of a sudden there's more detail and uh, all the reflections and everything are more pronounced. I think it works pretty well here. And um, I could also use the new layer, a new uh, tool in Lightroom called um, a slider called a Texture. It um, applies um, more like texture, a little bit more sharpening to um, so-called uh, high frequency detailed areas. But here there's not so much detail here, so I think the clarity works much better. Let's uh, turn it on and uh, off and on so you can see how it affects. I think the foreground becomes much more interesting like this. But let's move to another image and see what else we can do with the with the same same tool. Here's another here's another picture that I shot one evening also uh, some uh, uh, weeks back when we still had a little bit like wintry conditions. Um, let me first reset the picture. Okay, uh, there are a few settings that I usually apply before I do anything else. I set the contrast to 25 about and then uh, I pull the highlights to minus 50 and uh, push the shadows to plus 50 and that's where I start. <clears throat> and now let me apply some 
there's already some nice detail in the foreground but um, see what happens when I apply some uh, uh, gradient there now there's the gradient and we can try the texture slider it's it's adding something not bad but what happens with the clarity slider I think the clarity works here also much nicer than the texture maybe a little bit overdone again but uh, I'm just doing it so it's more clear what it does and if I turn it off and on you can see that the foreground is um, much more interesting like this I think at least then maybe if we um, apply a little bit of vignetting there to about minus 10 so let's see how it uh, looks compared to the original so I think it's much better now the foreground is more interesting all the reflections and uh, the details are popping out much uh, better now let's take a third picture here a uh, little bit different image again this is a landscape picture and um, let me first reset the picture this is straight out of camera raw image and here first we apply plus 25 minus 50 about and plus 50 and maybe we will pull back the midtones also a little bit like that so it's already much better looking compared to the original but now let me apply again the um, the gradient in the foreground like so and now we could use the texture because there are much more fine detail here uh, compared to the previous pictures it works pretty well the detail slider but what happens with the clarity yeah it's a little bit different but um, again if I turn it on and off you can see how what it does and I think the foreground becomes much more interesting like this I don't know what you think all post-processing image processing is a matter of taste and you may not like the result as it is here but maybe you can make this work for uh, one of your images in a different way or something I'm just giving some tips here and I'm not saying this is the, the, the right way or the only way to uh, enhance the foreground of the image I'm just uh, saying this is one way of doing it and uh, I hope you can you can make this work for you if not then just ignore what I just said or everything I just said and I really hope you can get something out of this and um, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time